Fuseworx microwave kiln is a revolutionary way to fuse glass inside a microwave in as little as three minutes. Let me show you how it works. The kiln consists of two parts, the base and the lid. The lid has a special non-toxic coating that helps capture and intensify microwaves. To use, simply place a piece of kiln paper on the base. Place clean, pre-cut glass on the base so that it's at least 1 8 inch away from the edge of the paper. Embellish your glass with frit, bits and pieces, dichroic glass, and stringers. Once you have your desired look, place the kiln base with the glass into the microwave. Place the lid on the base, close the door and set the timer for three minutes. It is important to note that when fusing dichroic glass, you should reduce the power of the microwave to 70% to avoid cracking. All microwave and kiln combinations will have different firing patterns. Be sure to take careful notes and log all fusing times for future use. We are using a 1000 watt microwave. Adjusted firing times can be found on the back of Fuseworks glass packaging as well as in the Fuseworks kiln manual. When the time has expired, while wearing hot mitts, lift the kiln top and peek inside to check on its progress. Your glass should be fused, displaying soft rounded corners and edges. If not, continue fusing in 15 to 30 second increments, checking progress with each increment until desired look is achieved. When fused, remove the kiln from the microwave. Place on a heat resistant surface and allow cooling for 30 to 40 minutes. Do not peek inside while the glass is cooling as your project may crack. Once cooled, you can remove the glass from the kiln base and create another project. For fusing tips and fun projects, visit diamondtechcrafts.com forward slash fuseworks.